Hey, what's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. In this video, we're going back up to the International Space Station where some unusual activity has been observed above planet Earth October 11th of 2020. Noticed by Christine who shared a video with me that I'm going to share with you guys. Also have a brand new picture slideshow of really awesome photos sent in from all around the world. But first, over here at the website, looking at the Schumann Resonance, a little bit of activity the last 24 hours in the Schumann. Mild activity, but nevertheless a little bit of activity in the Schumann. Much like we see over here at the Yellowstone Supervolcano Caldera. Steady flow of energy once again today around the Supervolcano Caldera. Don't see any earthquake activity. See some unusual movement here at the Lake Seismograph. Not exactly sure what that is implying, but another day at the Supervolcano Caldera. Now up to the International Space Station. The video clips you're about to see were sent in by Christine, dated October 11th of 2020. This is from the space station. Looking out at planet Earth, you're going to see some objects right here, high above planet Earth, that appear to be black. You've got a larger one here. You're going to see one behind it, off in the distance, and then one over here in the foreground, too. Um, it's difficult to tell what size they are. The one that you're going to see the most of, that's the most obvious, appears to be pretty large. You're going to see it make a maneuver that nothing like on Earth that, that I've ever seen can do, and then it goes straight up into space. Check this out. There it goes. How about that? Here it is, enhanced. Um, I d didn't really do anything to it as far as enhancements goes. I, I, there wasn't anything I could do with it. I mean, it is what it is. You've got an object here, back here, and right here visible from the ISS live cam above the Earth. There's no other way to describe it. See that one there? Now watch the larger one of the three. Just go straight vertical. There it goes. Ah, never say anything quite like it here. This is very unique. Again, they, here it is in an inverted format. And basically, what we have here, light is dark and dark is light. Here's the main object here, or at least the larger of the three. You can see it make a, like a circular maneuver. goes down, and then it goes straight up at a fairly high rate of speed. There it goes. Here it is in yet another enhanced format. Not altered. There, there's no way to alter this. It, like I said, it is what it is. But what is it? Or what are they? There's multiple objects there. Here it goes down, and then straight up out of the view of the camera very very quickly here i zoom in and i go into slow motion mode because i'm trying to get a better look at this object that's a, a fairly good ways away i mean a few hundred miles at least and it still looks to be pretty good size but there was no way of pulling any features in on this thing again because it's simply too far away and it, it appears to be quite big that's all i can say other than that i, I have no idea your guess is as good as mine and here it goes straight vertical in slow motion, which is still pretty quick. Have no idea how fast that would have been, but it's completely out of sight at a very rapid uh, rate of speed up and out into outer space. So great observation noticed on October the 11th on the ISS live cam. Here's a new slideshow I put together, new photos sent in from all around the world, Highland, New York. Brian got the big sun setting over in the horizon behind wildfire smoke. Really unique photo here. Actually, there's two sent in by Wendy's One Heart World out of Marina Del Rey, California. This looks like, when you're looking at it from this perspective, that's why she took the photo, it almost looks like a large vortex extending up into the sky here above that building in Marina Del Rey. And then here you've got what looks like a couple of structures just sitting up in the sky. Alexis H. out of Corona, California. A spectacular purple sky, actually very light purple with some beams spanning through the sky. Ahmed out of Algeria. Yet another fiery orange sky. Harvest Moon, I took this photo myself that it too looked very orange when it was low on the horizon. Charlene M. out of Gardner, Colorado, more smoke-filled skies. This photo here, I also took myself from right out here in Arizona. Very colorful clouds in the sky on that day. JG, this is a view from an airplane. 
and it almost looks like a view from the International Space Station. You'll see at times as the space station is going from day to night and then from night to day, you'll see this uh, in the space station live cam. That very same view right there, or almost nearly the same view. The, the space station is 250 miles above Earth. That obviously was not. Mount Rainier, Heather S. noticed what she thought was a triangle craft in the sky, and it does definitely have the features of a triangle craft. At least the three lights on each corner. You can't see the body of the craft, which most of the time you cannot. They're normally uh, invisible unless they're right above you. But that definitely does look like a triangle craft of some sort. Coos Bay, Oregon, Jason L. Got more smoke in front of the sun. Great Falls, Montana, Jasmine. More smoke-filled skies. St. George, Utah, Denise P. Got some mammatus clouds blanketing the sky and the sun. Mrs. Day, Ohio, light purple sky with a, a double-decker rainbow in the background. El Paso, Texas, Chris G. Got what looks like a pyramid up in the sky. It's just a collection of clouds that look very unique. Ariel out of Jacksonville Beach, Florida. Beautiful sunrise here. Got a, a bunch of what look like gravity waves spanning across the sky. Paul T. out of Ventura County, California. More smoke-filled skies. This is a moon halo. I'm not exactly sure of the location or the sender. Every once in a while, I'll get photos from a number and there's no name attached or location, but I found this really cool. It's a, a moon halo sent in from somewhere here on planet Earth. Spring Hill, Florida, Cassandra, another fiery orange and, and red sky. Charlotte, Michigan, David H. Got the sun behind more smoke-filled skies up in Michigan. Lisa out of Edina, Minnesota. Pretty obvious here what we're looking at. An opening in the sky that looks like a humongous triangle. Unbelievable. Lawrenceburg, Indiana. Shannon C. This is a great observation here. Off in the distance, she noticed, and it was a, a really good observation, what looked like a moon over there behind the clouds. And it's not our moon that we all know, but that looks like a moon. That cloud is a super unique shape over there all by itself. In fact, it looks out of place. Venetia out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. In case you missed this fantastic structure spanning across the sky at 9 o'clock in the morning about a week ago, very low in the sky above Philadelphia. Great job, guys. Keep the photos coming. If you have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. All of the photos end up here at the Sky Phenomena Photo Gallery at the website, and sometimes I'll use them in a picture slideshow just like you saw right here. Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there.